G'day guys, Shane here. Welcome to another review. Today we are talking about the Nissi filters. Nissi filters and the filter holder for mobile phones. This scene is, well, it's pretty common. It's a sunset sort of scene. The foreground's really dark and the sky is really bright. And we really struggle to get a, a good balance of the two. And what can help with this are filters, graduated filters. And what we've got here today is the graduated filter set from Nissi with a phone holder. Nissi filters I've been using for a very, very long time. Very long time. I've used them all over the world with different sort of photography that I do. Um, the glass in Nissi filters, it's just incredible. This is a graduated filter. And if I hold it up there to the sky, you can see there the top half of it is like a pair of sunglasses. The bottom part is perfectly clear. If I bring that down, you can see what it's doing to the trees behind there, but the ground behind me is still well exposed. If I bring it down too low, you can see it gets too dark. So you get the idea of what this thing is meant to do. This glass is sensational. What you get with the kit, you get this piece of glass, you get a polarizing piece of glass, so it changes the polarization of what you see through the phone, and you get this holder. And we'll talk about this bad boy in just a second. The way that you install the glass into the holder, basically the holder has if I get that right, there we go. The holder has a few little slots there and this slides directly into those slots. Like so. So now that piece of glass is held in place by the holder. The downside of this whole system is the holder. The holder is actually subpar in my opinion. Let me explain why. On the holder, this uh, stackable. So you can put two filters into this stacked on top of each other. So you can use the uh, grad filter and you can use the polarizing filter stacked nicely together. And for landscape photography, that's that's really quite important. It's adding that polarizing filter is, well, it, it brings out a lot more detail as you would know. The downside of this is that when you put the polarizer into this filter holder, that works just fine and that is exactly as you would expect it to be. But with polarizers, you know that it's very rarely is it going to be straight up and down. You're going to need to turn this thing from time to time, more often than not, to get that polarizing effect that you want. The downside is that as you do that, and I'll stack the graduated filter into this right there, you can see there that as we turn this, the horizon is not going to be flat. That's a big downside. What we'll do, we'll put this onto the phone now. You can see there the truck is really dark. Um, I'll put this over the, there we go. It's over the right lens now. If I move that glass up and down, you can see what it's doing there. When we get it, when we bring it halfway down though, focus on that truck, that is so much better. A graduated filter is just really, really good. And Nissi glass is just sensational. I'll take that shot. Nissi glass is just fantastic. It's a, it's a fantastic bit of glass. I can't ever say that this is a bit of bad glass. I've, I've used these for years and years and years on DSLR. Um, this is the, the phone one, obviously. When it comes to phone photography and it comes to lenses, filters, those sorts of things, the case, this is my opinion, the case, it's always better to get a system that has a case than one that has a clip-on lens. And the reason I say that is because nowadays with modern smartphones, we're lucky here with the iPhone 12 Pro is that it's only got three lenses on it, but the Samsung's got a bucket load on it. Most phones these days are going to have two, three, four, five lenses on it. And putting this over the top of that lens, honestly, it's an absolute pain. And uh, this thing, it moves around a bit too much. So I'm gonna put it around that, you can see here it's, uh, there's a little bit of vignetting down there. I've actually got to turn this around now because it's not facing the right way. So I'll pull that glass up and back down, there it is there. And that's as good as we're going to get it, but you can see a little bit of vignetting there. That's because I haven't got it perfectly on there. So having a, a holder or a case that takes that bit of kit, much, much better. The reason I got this and I'll explain that in a minute, is for another bit of glass, not for these bits of glass. But uh, I'll take that shot there, just so we've got something to talk about at the end of the day. What I actually got this system for was, well, you know on this channel we do a lot of nighttime photography with mobile phones, and a lot of you guys live in light polluted areas, so you can't do 
what I'm able to achieve here. You can't really replicate it because of where you are. You need to move away from that light pollution. And a few years ago in the astrophotography world, some people come up with some filters, glass filters that you put on the front of your lens for people who live in light polluted areas. Well, Nissi has them. There you go, can you see that right there? Move away, there you go. Natural light filter. And basically, uh, what this natural night light filter. Then I'll open this up and I'll show you what it does. And it's meant to um, filter out some of the spectrums of light. And basically it's a, it's a light blue colored filter. And I've tried it. And I always sit here with you guys and tell you the bit of kit that I've got um, is fantastic. And you should go out and buy it. There's a link down the bottom and I might earn some dollars. But uh, I'm, I'm going to tell you that out of all the Nissi kit that I've got, this has been the biggest disappointment for me. Um, I'd love to be able to tell you to go and buy it because Nissi glass is generally incredibly good. But in this particular case, um, this holder, this holder is just, this is bloody terrible. It's, it's a real shame because the holders on the DSLRs are just sensational. But uh, this bad boy, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's absolutely below par. And the night light, or the night filter, uh, natural night filter, this glass here, it just doesn't do what I was hoping it was going to do. Now, I don't live a long way out of town. Um, I went a bit closer to town, so I was engaged in some light pollution and, and it, it just didn't work. Um, so if you are looking for something to get um, mobile phone photography and get that astrophotography stuff like what we do here, unfortunately, this, this isn't the solution. So that's it for today, guys. Um, I wouldn't go buying this bad boy. I'm gonna give this one duck nut. One duck's nut. Ooh, that sounds awkward.